And let's bring back meteorologist Robert Sir now for another tech of the forecast. And Robert, it was a gorgeous day for the farmer's market. How's the rest of the weekend looking? Rest of the weekend looks great. Uh, really can't complain, no issues. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have some more clouds tomorrow, but really no big deal. Uh, one thing I want to start off with real quick is we didn't get a chance to do this last weekend because of all the severe weather, but I want to start with a look at how we did temperature and precipitation wise in March. So we were above average for our temperatures everywhere but X and A, but barely X and A, just about uh, a degree below average for the month of March. Uh, Drakefield and Fort Smith, both slightly warmer, but not by much. You see here, Drakefield, it was the 24th warmest March ever, and in Fort Smith, it was the 56th warmest, so really no big deal there. For precipitation, it was wet, but it was not white. No snow in Fort Smith and Drake Field, so they were below average for their snowfall, despite being well above average for their precipitation. They don't keep uh, snowfall numbers at XNA, but still well above average for precipitation. No precipitation right now across the entire area. As we look out over Fayetteville, things are quiet. Same thing in Springdale, where they're probably getting ready for another game tonight at Arvest Ballpark for the Naturals. And to our northeast across Table Rock Lake, more cloud free skies really can't complain with temperatures here upper 60s and lower 70s it is an absolutely perfect saturday evening great night to fire up the grill throw some steaks on there maybe dye the eggs outside tonight with the little ones if that's what you have plans on doing big picture shows you nice quiet conditions the only place that's not quiet is the southeast here into the carolinas and into georgia where the masters in augusta yet again delayed by lots and lots of rainfall. It's been a very sloppy Masters for 2023. Things will be nice and quiet tonight, waking up Easter morning, just some high clouds, but those clouds will continue to filter in as we go through the day. So we'll go from mostly sunny to mostly cloudy by the time many of you are settling in for your Easter dinner Sunday night, and then a nice mix of clouds and sunshine waking up Monday morning temperatures slightly above average. Lows tonight not too bad will basically be in the lower to mid 40s and our highs tomorrow very comfortable yet again into the 70s. The extended forecast really isn't too bad other than a couple of afternoon sprinkles possible on Monday. The rest of the week looks great with lots of sunshine temperatures warming into the mid to upper 70s by the second half of the week in the River Valley about the same thing. A couple of afternoon sprinkles Monday and then temperatures warming into the upper 70s and lower 80s by the time we get to this this point next weekend. Stay with us. We're going to take a look at sports with Mer Meredith Malky. Everything you need to know about the Hawk <coughs> the Razorback baseball team, which was in action today. That's after the break.